Welcome everyone. This is Papa Zilla here. Uh, and this is uh, episode zero, the first 30 of the new Let's Play. Once again, we're pivoting over, as you can see, to all the mod six. Uh, moved back from all the mod seven to six, uh, just to, to more complete uh, section. Now, uh, while I was moving back, I was also trying to update my computer from Windows 10 to 11 and it made Minecraft very, very, very laggy playing on the server. So um, this is actually, for this first little bit, first few minutes, is speed it up. Uh, I will go back to, once I, I re rolled back my upgrade from Windows 11 to 10, and uh, once again, then no lag issues, but this one was pretty. Uh, as you can see, I made a, first thing I made was a, uh, crafting table on a stick just so I can be around then made a pickaxe for of wood dig down and vein mined a bunch of stone to get that in there so there we go um, and then dig my way out of here and the idea for the first 30 minutes is to find a place where I can um, build my fortress because that's the main thing i want to do is build that fortress in mine colonies uh, i know this won't be the latest version of mine colonies i just like a little bit more questing and all the mod 6 has a much more robust uh, set of quests and goals within it um, you know you get the atm star at the very end of it that's what we're going to be going for um, but centering around building a fortress along the way. So I can see I started down here um, just heading off and uh, try to find, you know, there should be something close by. Uh, grab some berries, always good to have. And, uh, you know, it got so laggy in here as I was going through here, even, even at, I think this is four times speed, you can see it, it barely looks faster than regular. Um, so I found a village, um, grab a bed, of course, even though I had a poor sheep, I already killed them. Uh, getting some items. Uh, I noticed all the cows there. So what I want to do is let's breed the cows that are here. Oh, I did that one. Okay. It is so laggy here. Um, and after breeding the cows and get a couple of babies, then I am going to need one more sleep through the night. Um, one more here somewhere. There we go. Okay, there should be one more that needs to be fed. Boom, there we go. Two babies. Uh, now let's get rid of these guys. Um, okay, so I'm going to log back, roll my roll back to Windows 10, and here we go. We're back in Windows 10, no more lag. Uh, for anybody else who's gone from the Windows 10 to 11 upgrade, if you uh, were able to do it and still get onto a server on Minecraft without uh, additional lag, because, I mean, that just was terrible, and it's not, the server hasn't changed. It was obviously something within uh, Windows 11. Maybe didn't like the Java version I was using, but the rollback, for me, it was a necessary thing um, to to uh, basically get it so it was playable because I was really struggling um, on that without uh, rolling it back. So as you can see, um, now we've uh, we're off here once again. Really, just like I said, the full purpose of this is to explore and hopefully find a large plain because the the fortress in mine colonies is a fairly large build um, and of course i have very little storage right now a nice little cave structure the other reason i decided to roll back from um atm7 to atm6 i mean roll back windows roll back uh, all the mods uh is and maybe this won't be a popular take but i am not a huge fan of the cliffs, cliffs and caves. Um, I mean, they're nice there, but there just seem to be too many of them, to my opinion. 
Uh, in the other world, it seemed like there was no area that didn't have a, a crevasse or, or you know, a large cave system right in the middle of it. So it just made, you know, planning where to build stuff. I think uh, if you could turn off or turn down the generator so there's just not as many of them, I probably would like it more. Um, just getting up high, trying to see where I am. Once again, looking around um, to where I am, where I want to go. This all seems very wooded. I mean, it, yeah, too much texture to build something. So you have your, your central, when you're building the, the fortress, um, you just got to plan for a big A, so the big area. The first, um, sorry, um, the first uh, chunk is going to be, uh, the town hall will be a two by two chunk wise. So you're already looking at four. Um, just, since I know I'm not going to be here, I'm stocking up a little bit on leather at this point. Um, and uh, so you got need two by two just for the center. Then you have a ring around that. So now you're basically looking at a four by four uh, chunks or 16 chunk basically block that you want to build in. And then you have another chunk around that that's basically the inter walkway, open way where you've had fields. Typically that's where I'll send up my uh, storage at the beginning. <coughs> um, probably build a combination of electronic storage plus some uh, books or some uh, uh, storage chests as well. Um, uh, typically right next to the warehouse once the warehouse is built is how I'm going to do that. Uh, by the way, these gardens in here, um, very nice. Th this does have the, uh, the more you eat, the more hearts you get. So um, usually if you're down any health at all, like I am right now, you should probably be looking to harvest those and take them and eat them just to get as many different things uh, to get your health up as high as you can. Um, I've done this hardcore and more before, and that was a, a little fun. But uh, to do that, you need to eat as much as you can, as quick as you can. I'm not doing hardcore on the server because Regzilla will be here, and uh, yeah, he lives on the edge a little bit. So um, he is. Whoa. Okay, we have uh, wandering guys. Just don't really want to mess with them right now at this point. Um, going over here a little, little better. Still, I mean. While the trees can be cut down, the flowers can be taken off, that's fine. Um, just not big enough. So I mentioned, so by the time you're building the inner wall, or excuse me, the inner walkway, you're now from a four by four to a six by six or 36 chunks. And then you got to build the, the ring outside of that. So once again, now you're at eight by eight or basically a 64 chunk area just to get the main square castle built. And usually you're then going to extend it uh, one of the other ways to get about another, you know, if you take outside of that, you got an outer ring, an inner ring, and then an, an outer outer wall. So you're looking at another three chunks that way. So now you're looking at eight by 11 or approximately 88 chunks. Um, you throw your castle you know, I, I will build the, I love the, the, the sort of nether fortress they have um, in, in mine colonies to have that be built as, as my home base. And, and that's another, you know, take that another two chunks because you're going to do it away one chunk and then build it. Um, so you're, you're really looking um, almost a hundred chunks uh, needed to do the mine colony fortress. Uh, so, Unless if you want to do massive, massive amounts. Okay, here we go. Here is um, this. Uh, and uh, yeah. I'm just going to leave that in there. Okay. Oop. I can only sleep at night, so we'll look there. Um, still, still nothing really. What I'm looking at, the sun is going down. So let's just wait a second. And. Uh, La, 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 la. Can I sleep now? Okay, sleep through the night. Um, a massive area, and you know, when I was on the the cliffs and and uh, caverns and and all of that, uh, caves and caverns uh, version, I just it seemed it, it, like everywhere I had a cavern. Okay, I just did the random teleport, 
And so this allows me to basically jump anywhere. So I jumped up to approximately is that 60, 65,000, 13,000, so roughly um, 100,000 blocks away, um, which is quite far. Uh, yeah, I wish I could control the random teleport a little more. And it, it jumped me on this little piece of sand out in the middle of nowhere. So I am going to uh, go around and still look for a place for the base. As you can see, they do have the slime islands. Um, looks like I'm falling into the water, that's fine. Um, sure, I'll go in and grab some slime since I'm here. So I got to an earth slime island. Um, slime boots, not as easy as they used to be. It used to be one of the first I get to this and, and make some boots and a slingshot, but... Uh, not quite that way anymore. Okay, get in here, go up. It'll be quicker doing a shovel, but I don't have one right now. So yeah, um, go get rid of him, and then go get all the slime balls from here. Hello. Oh, goodbye. Oh, there you go. Um, and then just, you know, vein mine this one. So it is the FTB Ultimine. Oh, I have some stuff I can drop. Get that. Get 64, there's more. Um, okay, find something else to drop. Find the other fluid up, get rid of that. Okay, so I have all of the slime. Where is my boat? Okay, so um, slime island. You know, I'll need it. You need the slime for, uh, especially if I do e the ele electronic storage. Um, slime will turn into uh, items for the different circuitry within. Uh, where is that? Okay, okay. Okay, there's my boat. Um, the one bad thing about random teleport is it takes 10 minutes to reset. So I can't just jump around, jump around right now. I have to wait the 10 minutes and then I get a chance to jump again. And uh, so that's a little bit of exploring. Who knows? Maybe I'll, I'll get through this and find something. But uh, there is a lot of water here and a lot of ice. But uh, yeah, not so cold ocean. Let's head over to the palm trees. See what's over there. Again, looks like more ice all around it, so it's just a little island right in the middle of nowhere. And keep going. Keep going. Just trying to. I hope I'm not going in circles. I should be hitting just one direction. But. Cave over there, big tower of ice over there, little one right here. Just get an update for more miles traveled. Just still more, it's a huge ice field. Ice field. Um, yeah. Even more ice coming up ahead. Okay. 
I, so usually you used to be able to basically uh, take the slime and make slime boots. Doesn't happen anymore. Um, so yeah, so now we can no longer look up slime boots and you go in there and there's no direct way to make it. Um, so to do that, you need a rabbit's foot in that and then you put slime over it and then you get your slime boots. And it's gotta be the, the sky slime, not the, or the purple slime. Um, so yeah, not the greatest of items. Uh, so, you know, s sort of work with it and see, uh, putting these into a more, why is that not showing up? Oh, somehow it still has that in there. Okay. Let's do this and boom. Okay, let's give storage a little better on those. I can always blow them back up later. Break in. Okay. And let's keep going. Okay, um, like I said, one, my main goal for today is to find an area, a big flat area, and not a floating one, uh, an island, but I don't really see much beyond it. Yeah, okay. Um, and like I said, once I get that, uh, I'm probably, at least for the start, if, if Rexzilla does join me, which he will, he said he's going to come to the server a few times, at least on the weekends, and, uh, you know, wherever I do make the ultimate uh, building spot, my next thing will be getting him there, um, depending on how far it is, that could be a multi-day event in itself. Um, so the idea is to get out, find a place, put down a waystone market so that I can get back there and do what I need to do for the building, uh, get this started, and then uh, bring Rexilla up and do some adventuring with the two of us along with that uh, building. Um, yeah, as Rexilla said, he typically does not do the building side of it just because if he was building it, uh, he said all the columns would die. So <laughs> it's... Um, not his cup of tea yet, uh, but uh, Papazilla likes building, likes building the fortress, uh, so that's the centerpiece for this. If anybody has anything else they want me to showcase or spotlight during the recording, let me know. Happy to do it, happy to add it in. Uh, most of the recordings will be like this one where we tape, or I tape, and then record after the fact. Uh, if Regzilla is there and I have enough time to prep for it, I uh, may go ahead and do a, a small um, workbench and, and try to get off of that. But uh, um, anyway, so this is a little more promising. We have desert here. Um, now, I was going to build a desert town, desert village, desert city. That would be great. Unfortunately, I want to build a fortress, a castle, so I think that looks better in a grassy plain, but at least I'm out of the icebergs and into the forest, so we are here. Got a bigger one over there. Um, terracotta over here. can see where there was some melting of the sand became glass over there. Okay, 
day, getting towards night. I was just almost done. I find that it looks like it's getting dark before the sun's hours down here. Okay, so there is stuff here, but still not what I'm looking for. I may just random teleport again from here uh, to find my ultimate place. So just don't see much here. I don't see any villages. Don't see any um, other structures. And you got the terracotta, which can be fun to build with, but nothing I feel is the right area for my city. And it goes down to more regular desert. Um, let's go ahead and just try again. Random teleport, random location. Okay, so I am right at a village and in a plane. So that is potentially good news. Um, let's go to the village, see what I can find. Oh, and even before the village, I've got a waystone. So we'll grab this just because we'll need it when I, um, get rid of some of these sticks. Okay, so um, right, good on that. Let's go over here. Okay. Uh, so we are looking at mana and artifact stuff in here. Okay, looking nice big area. Um, obviously I don't want to be too close to a village, so let me let me look around and see where else. But if this extends a lot further, this may be a decent area to build the fortress in. Okay, um, those ones I don't mind too much. You can just cover them over when you have these huge ones every 20 feet. It's just, oh, uh, anyway. Okay, I see a waystone. So we are in Krakma. Krakma. Okay, looking around, looking for supplies. Okay, now I'm sort of heading off, looking to see if there is an area where I would feel comfortable building my city. So again, looking for roughly an eight by eight area that'll give the beginning part and then one or two sides will be expanded beyond that. Okay. Oh. Okay. Looking. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I'm thinking over this way. We got the tall mountains up there. Maybe not too close to that, though.
I want to build it just, oh, there's a village over there. Okay. Is it our lady? You know, uh, it's big enough, but there's a lot of little lakes. I think if I go over there in that spot near that lava, maybe south of that lava pool. Um, that might be the place to go. Mountains, the Phelan Mountain. Um, yeah, let's, uh, head back over there. So I did get a bunch of trees once I put down the, um, supply camp. And then as I build the fortress, I'll tear the supply camp down. Some oil and uh, okay. On. Um. Hmm. Okay, just once again, looking around, trying to get an eye of the land. Given how much flatness there is here, somewhere here I'm going to build it. Um, I mean, you basically got flat zone, you got you got uh, uh, prairie, you got plains, you've got um, prairie clearings, you've got you know, lots of different stuff. And fast forward, um, fast forward. I think that's just finding which area. So the darker green. A little, you know, there's that big flat area right next to me, a little little southwest of where I am, but then there's a lot of contour there. Maybe too much contour. So I'm gonna go a little bit north, south, east of here uh, to look at this. Get some more sheep. I think I'm okay with them right now. Bad. Bad. Um, and uh, continue to look. I think I know where I'm going to be. I'm just trying to rule out these other areas before I start building. I mean, something like this isn't bad. All you got to decide is what level do you build the tents at? Do you, up high? do you want to build up high? In which case you have to add a lot. Do you want to fill them down low, which you have to take away a lot? It's, it's all, you know, where do you want? So this isn't bad. It's, you know, I still think I like the first area that I'm where, where that first child, you know, came in to my job. Okay. Um, you know, all that, I'm just, that, that one, just a little bit north of me, right there. That's where I'm thinking. Um, yeah, it does have some, some hills in it. It goes down a bit, but I think that is flat enough. Um, yeah, you got those runes down below. I'll just take those out. That's not a big deal to do that and uh, get that completed. There's a village down there, too. I didn't do that one. I'll take that one at another time. But, uh, yeah. Okay. So the question is, how much do you block off of it? And so you're going to want to, as I said, block off for the town hall, wow. which is a two by two chunk wise. One round of chunks around that. So that brings you to four by four. And then another chunk all the way around that. So five by five. 
excuse me, four by four, six by six, sorry. And then go beyond that to get the outer ring. And then you get eight by eight, 64 chunks for that. So yeah, so we are right at the place where I want to do this. Can do a little bit of clearing, hopefully get the, the first one built. Um, want to be outside the center a little bit to lay the supply camp, which gives you some good stuff on that side. Put the bed down. So now I am set up here. So if anything untowardly happens, I can come back. Um, and now I'm going to look at claiming the chunks for the area. Uh, waypoint no um go into the claim chunks part of it okay um so yeah looking in there the centerpiece go out two more blocks from that Okay, so that's roughly um, the size of the castle. Um, now I just noticed when I'm taping this, that is seven by seven, it's actually eight by eight, so it's one more, but there's plenty of room to do that. So um, sleeping through the night, and now we can start to, to get a little bit of stuff done. So let's you know make some chess. And I can throw most of my stuff in here. Keep that out. Okay. Um, the next thing I want to do is, of course, put down a supply wagon. And uh, to do that, you need a fairly flat area because it won't uh, it won't adjust the height. Um, let's take this tree down. A couple of food as well. Okay. Turn on F three plus G so I can see the chunks. Uh, I'm gonna put it probably in this one right here, a little bit off center, so that I can build the town hall. And uh, let's do that vein mine this stuff so I can get rid of it quicker. Grab all the seeds, of course. Okay, um, you need to make five, I believe, there's four. No more wood. I should I need to clean up that corner up there. Okay, so let's go and clean this up. Um, Now we can do the straight line vein mine. Make sure I have enough to uh, get this built. And then lay supply cam. And I know this is supposed to be the first 30, but let's just basically get that point in it and then we'll stop. I will be doing a long just recording. I'm going to then be hitting highlights after this. 
and just take all that stuff off. Go in here. Going to need those chests back. Let's get the wood and the chests. We just need one more. Okay, there we go. Crafting stick, make our other chest, five chests, five chests can make you a supply requirement. Okay, so here um gonna need a little more just clean this one up. Okay, and looks like we're going to go on this side. Okay. And even that up up there, should that then there, um, looks good. At my supply, fortress supply camp. Uh, flip it the other way. And then try to line it up on the... Boom, back one over three. Oh, come back up. Okay, let me. Okay, looking good. Looks to be fit. Ah, bet. Where is the chest? Okay. Gonna need to move the chest. Let's see what I got in here. If I take out this half of it, then I should be able to take out half of the chest. Move it over here. Okay, put it down, throw everything in. Everything in, and then I can just go pick up the other one. Grab everything. Okay, throw the other half of the stuff in. And uh, now it should place. Boom. We have our supplies. We're going to mine qualities now of your supplies. How about searching a nice location to place your town hall to create your colony of your choice? Um, I did place that a little low. I'll probably build the actual fortress a couple of levels high. What am I on? 67, so like 69 or 70. That way I can have a little bit of digging up. I'll have a little filling in down, but, but it should be okay. Um, inside the pin for this, uh, just call it new dark castle. It's fine. Um, that way I can jump around for waypoints. I'll always have, as soon as I have a waypoint, I'll have the ability to jump back here. Um, trick will be getting here in the first place. So there's the town hall. There's the building tool free with the supply camp. Okay, so now somewhere up here, I'm going to want to place the actual town hall. So looking at that one, maybe that should work. Okay. Um, yeah, this level, what is this, 70? Maybe 70? Um, 70, 60, and one of these two. Okay, let's place it here. Uh, not a decoration, we want to keep the town hall, we want not a clash, we want fortress. Okay, so I want it facing, I'd say south is probably the best way. Um, yeah, I know there's a village that way, there's a village that way too. I'm going to face it south um, for my main, as I just said. And we'll go through that and uh, 
get it, but let's look in. Um, okay, so let's get this moving. Okay, facing south, we have the entrance. Um, oh, a little bigger, but this is where I've sort of figured out that it's not just one chunk, that it is two by two, not one by one. So let's scoot it back a little bit. Um, Okay, there we go, right on the corner. Okay, so now it is two by two in here. It is basically right, whoop. Yeah, maybe that's, maybe forward one more. Oh, let me check this out. So I did that. Um, you can see it's right here. Uh, There's some zombies, but yeah. Even this is on hard. I'm not that worried about them right now. I have one piece of armor and a sword, so it should be good. Uh, no, not what I wanted to do. Okay, I am. Yeah, let's, we're about 40 minutes in. Let's go ahead and call it a day there. Um, I will next build a builder, which is with a door. And uh, then that's the first thing you really want to do as a builder without once people start showing up. You want to get at least one, if not two, builders built. Um, I, I uh, house, a mine, a farm. Um, I'm not sure what I'll do. A university somewhere in there. So you can start doing research. Uh, you want to get um, a warehouse and at least one courier, a restaurant so people can eat, all of that fun stuff. Um, base will be, you know, there's all the choices there, but then you also have your own ability to do stuff. So there's the builder. I will place him next time. This is Papazilla. See you all later.